is here. Hi, Phil. See you at the barbecue. It's gross the way she flirts with him. I know, it's pathetic. What barbecue? Phil's family's throwing a big party this weekend. Very upscale. Anyone who's anyone is invited. <laughs> Calm down. It's his parents' party. Phil probably had nothing to do with it. Yeah, right. How come he totally ignored me? He didn't even see you. Herself? She didn't even untack her? Remember what she did to Cobalt? She's gonna do the same thing to Garnet. Oh no, she's not. There's no way Veronica's gonna get away with this. putting on nail polish. Yeah, but this stuff stinks. Smell. Yuck. Are you sure that's good for him? Yes. What are you girls doing? Just doing Dime's feet. I appreciate your help, girls, but Ashley, you know you shouldn't be working around the horses without talking to me or one of the stable hands. I know, but we... It's for your own safety. But we were just trying to help with the horses. Well, there are plenty of safer jobs around the stables that you and Melanie can do all by yourselves. Come along. Safer. Great. The paper's probably going to cover Phil's party for the society page. What are you going to wear? I don't know. My mum's picking me up to go shopping. Were you planning on untacking Garnet, or were you just going to leave her standing out there all day? It's not my problem. Ask the stable hands. It's their job. We found her running loose in the riding ring. She could have been hurt. Christy, the Spazzle Club is mad at me. Gee, I wonder if it's because you're invited to Phil's party and they're not. <laughs> <laughs> Brush him? Um, not right now, Melanie. Why not? What's wrong? Where's Delilah? Samson hasn't been eating properly. What do you mean? Mastitis. It hurts Delilah when Samson feeds, so she kicks him away. She's a bad mum. No, she's sick. She, she can't help it. The vet put Delilah on antibiotics and she'll be better soon. But what about poor Samson? You won't take any food from us. We've tried everything. Dr. Judy's going to feed him through a tube. How would you feed a foal with a tube? We have to put it down his throat. It doesn't hurt him. That's awful. You're mean. He's got to eat, Melanie. He'll be fine. Don't worry. <laughs> Just keep ignoring the horse like that or it'll go wild. But she never spent any time with Cobalt either, and he was perfect. The only reason Cobalt was so great was because Carol rode him all the time. I guess I could ride her. No! You can't keep on saving Veronica's butt. So what if her horse goes wild? It's her own fault. I don't care about Veronica. I care about Garnet. Hey, guys. You busy? Red's got his hands full with Samson and I promised to deliver some portable horse enclosures today. 
Could really use a few extra hands. Anyone up to helping me? Yeah. Okay. Sure. Good. One spirited man. Well, it's my own fault. I haven't had time to ride her all year. I think she's given up on me. Mm. Oh, and thanks for helping me out with those enclosures, Max. I was at my fit's end. Ah, oh, it's no problem. I did have some help. Wow. Stevie, Carol, Lisa, this is Dee Marston. Hi, girls. Marston? You mean you're. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mom! Hi, Phil. Come on, What are you doing here? I mean, you're helping Max. I can see that. How long are you staying? You're leaving soon, right? <laughs> Don't try to climb over. You might hurt Samson. Open the door. Forget it. Looks like you've got an extra foal on your hands today. Hey! Ooh. Mrs. Ray! You're doing just fine, Ray. No one's sticking any tubes down Samson's throat. It's not going to hurt him. Go away, I'm taking care of him. Be careful in there. He's only a baby. Duh. <laughs> See what I mean? He so doesn't want me here. He practically asked us to leave. He's just acting with because he's nervous around you. Yeah, right. He totally likes you, Stevie. Of all the jobs we could have done for Max, we had to pick the one that ended up at Phil's house. Did you see her? She's perfect! Nomad? Yeah. Paint a blaze on her forehead, groom her properly, brush out her mane, and what have you got? A dead ringer for Garnet. Except she's not a trained horse. I bought four choices. There's this top with these pants. They're totally hot in New York right now. They're okay, but I thought this party was formal. It is. We're talking big social event. Ew, that's so my mother dressed me. What about this? Do you think it's too ordinary? That could be okay. Depends. Are you wearing your hair up or down? <sighs> You're right. I have to figure that out too. How am I ever going to be ready by Saturday? Here you go. Nice warm cow's milk. It's yummy. Come on. <laughs> Samson, you'll love it. <laughs> hey, that's okay. I'll make you some more. That's it. I'm opening the store. It's okay, Ray. Just leave her. But she doesn't understand it. Let her come to it. Otherwise, she's going to get more upset. So, we put Nomad in Garnet's stall. Tack her up, and when Veronica comes to do her dressage lesson, she'll learn just how hard it is to do flying changes on a horse that won't listen to her. But won't she notice that it's not her horse? Hey, this is Veronica we're talking about. She's gonna be thinking about what she's wearing, not what she's riding. You're right. By the time she figures it out, she'll already be making a fool of herself in the dressage ring. And maybe, when she rides an out-of-control horse like Nomad, she'll realize how lucky she is to have Garnet. It's perfect! But aren't we forgetting one huge thing? What? How are we going to get Nomad? Hey, Phil! No way. We need to borrow your horse. Come 
Mine, Samson, please. You'll love it. <laughs> Just one little sip. Melanie, can you let us in, please? Dr. Judy's here to see Samson. It's okay. Delilah's had a shot and she'll be fine in a day or two. <laughs> right now, Samson needs to be fed. You can help me feed him if you like. No way! It won't hurt him one bit, I promise. No! Come on, Melanie. Enough is enough. <laughs> we just want to teach Veronica a lesson, so she'll start looking after Garnet. OK, count me in. Great. So we'll see you tomorrow morning for Operation Fire Change. Sorry to break up the reunion, guys, but we should get back. Yeah, thanks for all your help, girls. It was really nice to finally put some faces to the names. Phil talks about you all the time. So I, um, hope we'll see you all this weekend. No! I mean, it's just a family thing. They'd be bored. Well, well Phil, it's OK. We're having a family barbecue Saturday afternoon and you'd all be more than welcome. Mum, I told you, they don't want to come. Phil, will you stop with your being rude? It's OK, Mrs Marsden. We're all busy on Saturday anyway. If Phil's in, then I'm out. Come on, Stevie. He was embarrassed. He wanted to rub it in that he invited Veronica to his party and not us. If he really liked Veronica, why would he help us trick her? I don't know. He must be planning to humiliate me again somehow. Forget about Phil. Think about teaching Veronica a lesson. What's more important, Garnet or Phil's stupid party? Come on, Stevie, we really need you. We can't pull off a plan like this without you. OK, I'll do it. But I'm not talking to Phil ever, got it? I'll call him. Phil! Oh, are you hiding out here? Girl just phoned. Who? Uh, Lisa from Pine Hollow. Oh. Were you hoping it was someone else? No. Actually, I'm surprised any of those girls are calling you after the way you acted. Hey. I can't believe how rude you were. I told you I didn't want them to come. Isn't Stevie the girl that you couldn't stop talking about? No. Oh, I think that you hurt her feelings. She doesn't care. Well, I think that she does. I saw her looking at you. She does not. Look, why don't you just invite her on Saturday? I bet she says yes, and she might even help... I'm not inviting anyone. She's busy on Saturday anyway. A secret. It's got to be one of these things. Secret? What secret? Defeating a foe. I just don't want them to put a tube down his throat. Oh, you know we wouldn't do anything to hurt Samson. But he's only a baby. OK. All right. Now. We have to hide it before Veronica gets here. Shouldn't the creep be here with Nomad by now? Looks like your creep's right on time. Give me something, Stevie. 
Nope. I got it. Thanks. I don't believe it. That cupboard looks like a bomb hit it. I'll have to get that cleaned up one of these days. Oh, yeah. Messy. See you later. This stuff's gross. Do you think it'll stay on long enough? I hope so. If it comes off, we're dead. Like the new jacket? What's wrong with your neck? He's right over there. Who? What's he doing here? He doesn't have a lesson today. Isn't it obvious? He's come to watch your private lesson. Of course. Hi, Phil. Hi. It was nice of you to come watch. I mean, it's just another lesson, but... Oh, yeah. I just wanted to see how you're doing with Garnet. <sighs> She's an absolute dream. It's like we were made for each other. <laughs> Hello? My horse better be tacked up. My lesson starts in five minutes. Three. Get out of my way. You're going to make me late for my private lesson. <laughs> Something's wrong. Stable hands did their job for once. It's about time people started paying attention around here. Come on, Garnet. Walk on. She didn't even notice. We probably could have switched Samson and Garnet, and Veronica wouldn't even know the difference. <laughs> Come on, I don't want to miss a single second of this lesson. <laughs> Hi, Samson. Sorry I left yesterday, but I had to figure out something. Are you hungry? <laughs> Do you think she'll try a half pass? <laughs> I hope she tries a flying change. <laughs> this should be good. I'm just glad I got to help. I can't wait to see. Oh, I get it. So I'm good enough to talk to at Pine Hollow, but not good enough to come to your party. And Veronica is? What? Uh, that's not it at all. You're probably planning on telling her about the horse switch, aren't you? No. We're so dead. <gasps> What's wrong? Max change the schedule. Veronica's not doing dressage. She's jumping. I don't think Nomad's ever seen a jump. We have to stop her. OK, small vertical first and then the combo. Hey, hold on. What horse are you riding? Scarlet. I just groomed her so well you didn't recognize her. <laughs> Veronica, wait! Stop her! That's not Garnet! We didn't know she'd be jumping. Veronica, wait! Slow down! Whoa, Garnet, whoa! Okay. <sighs> this isn't Garnet. You just noticed that now. I don't believe this. What kind of stunt? What were you thinking? It was a stupid thing to do. We never meant to hurt anyone. We didn't want Veronica to forget about Garnet. I know what you were doing, but this was totally irresponsible and dangerous. You're suspended from Pine Hollow for one week. Only a week? They tried to kill me. If you learned to look after your own horse, Veronica, instead of handing her off at every opportunity, then maybe this wouldn't have happened. The light is on the mend. The information's gone. How did you get him to take it? Uh, I used honey. I put the honey on my fingers and the teeth. And then Samson, he, he licked my fingers. 
So then I put the bottle up and he licked the teat too. So I tipped up the bottle and in, in goes the milk. Easy. This is a good start. So you won't have to put the tube down his throat, will you? If you keep feeding him, we won't have to. Really? Every three hours until Delilah's fully recovered. It could be a couple of days. Every three hours? Even at night? I'm afraid so. It's OK, Melanie. If you show me how to do it, I'll take the night shift. <laughs> hey, Comanche. I'm not allowed to see you for a whole week. I'm going to miss you so much. I'm sorry you got into trouble. It was worth it. At least Max told Veronica to take care of Garnet. I guess, but it's a drag you won't be able to ride. Did you just come by to rub it in? No, I just... I, I feel pretty bad about my parents' party this weekend. I didn't want you to come... What? I didn't want anyone to come from Pine Hollow. Yeah, right, except Veronica. No, my parents invited the D'Angelo's. It's kind of embarrassing, but my mum put me in charge of the kids' pony rides. That's what Max's horse enclosures are for. It's a charity day to raise money. I have to wear a sheep costume with a face bit cut out. <laughs> really? See, this is why I didn't tell you about the party in the first place. I'm sorry, Phil. Anyway, do you guys want to come to the party? I don't know. We'd love to. <laughs> Shouldn't you be gone by now? You're banned from the stables, you know. We wanted to apologise first. We didn't know you were going to jump. That was totally dangerous. Please. I knew it wasn't Garnet. I just went along with it because Phil was there. Uh-huh. He's from our rival pony club. The honour of Pine Hollow was at stake. Sure, Veronica. See you guys on Saturday. You're not inviting them, are you? Yeah, they're helping out with the kids' pony rides. The what? Yeah, and we're going to dress up too. There's this great cow costume. My mum said she needs someone to help out with the hot dogs. Uh, actually, I'm really sorry, Phil. Uh, I completely forgot. <laughs> I'm busy on the weekend. 